Good morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. This is Pastor Phil with your morning meditation once again. This morning, um, we are talking about uh, write down what God has given you, writing down what God has given you. Or, yeah, we, I want you to get your journals. If you don't have a journal, uh, you need to have a journal so you can write down what God is saying to you, what he's speaking to you, so that you don't forget it and so that you can really commit to doing it. Uh, a lot of times we uh, get away from what God has told us because we don't write it down and we actually don't roll it over in our minds again and again. Habakkuk um, 2, the second chapter in the prophetic book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk. And it says, uh, in the starting at the second verse, um, well, let's start at the first verse. It says, I will take my stand at my watch post. That means he has to be alert all the time. And station myself on the tower. That means he's looking out to see, see what's going on. And look out to see what he will say to me and what I will answer concerning my complaint. Uh, he had complained that the Lord was using a evil nation to uh, chastise his a more righteous nation. Um, the reason God was chastising Israel because was because they had done evil in his sight. They were treating the poor badly. They were um, not taking care of the widows and orphans. They were cheating people out of their property and their uh, money and their belongings. And God said, enough. I'm going to use the wicked nation of Babylon to chastise this wicked nation of Israel, even though the wicked nation of Babylon was much more evil than Israel. And then the Lord says, and the Lord answered me, he says, he says, write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. We are in our fourth day of a churchwide fast, of a fast. And fasting is not just to lose weight. It's not just to, it is to improve your health, but it is, it is to improve your uh, spiritual health, as well as the side uh, benefit of it is that you will improve your physical your physical health as well. But it's to improve your spiritual health. It is to draw you closer to God. And it's easier when we have a plan, when we write down our goals, when we have a plan to do God's will, and it's written down, and we can go back and look at it day by day and be reminded when uh, it is as when we read God's word, we don't just read it, but we stop and we meditate on it. Let us meditate on God's word. Let us think about God's word. Let us think about what did it mean to those who he first wrote it to, then what does it mean to us today, and in particular to me individually, to you individually. What does God's word mean for you? And then write it down. God has a purpose for you. God has a mission, a goal for you. Write it down during this time of fasting as you go uh, take this time to learn to depend totally on God. When you hunger, when you want uh, that sugar, something that you should not have in your fast, so you want that little extra something that you should not have in the fast, 
learn to look to God and depend on him to bring you through. Amen. And in this, this practice will teach you to look to God in every difficult situation. Write the vision. Make it plain. Make it simple, in other words. Write down what God is showing you. Stand at the tower. Don't just fast and not have your mind involved. Your mind must be involved. Think about what you're thinking about and learn to bring your thoughts back to God. Learn to bring your thinking, your meditating, your uh, musing, amen, your rumination back on God. Focus on God. That's what this, that's what fasting teaches you to do, to focus on God, not on your flesh, not on self, not on the world, not on what Satan is trying to do, but on God. Hmm. And write it down. Write down what God has shown you. God bless you and keep you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you this morning that you're teaching us to write the vision. Show us, Lord God, the areas in which we need to change. We need you, Lord God, to walk alongside of us in this journey. And as we write our goals down, make our vision, make your vision for us clear. Prepare our spirit, our mind, our soul, and body to receive what is ahead. Amen. Amen. This meditation today is taken from and um, from what Susan, um, what is her name? Susan uh, Gregory has written in the book, The Daniel Fast. The Daniel Fast. Amen. And bless you is my prayer. We want to do everything and pray everything in the mighty matchless name, nature, and character of Jesus the Christ, who himself fasted for us. Amen. When he first started his ministry, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted by the devil where he made in the wilderness, where he made some great decisions for his ministry. Let us make great decisions as we fast this time, during this time of fasting for our ministry unto God and to each other, to our fellow human beings. God bless you and keep you is my prayer. Remember, Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.